One day, her husband returned and said he wanted them to go their separate ways, that he has found love in another woman who has given him a child. This broke Uche to pieces as she wondered what she ever did wrong to this man. Once upon a time, in a faraway community, there lived a certain maiden called Uchechi. Uchechi is a very beautiful and hard-working lady. She invests most of her time in her business and worked so hard to be where she is today. Uchechi's story isn't a rosy one as she was orphaned at a tender age and had to learn how to fend for herself. She did not let life define her. Instead, she would do many jobs so as to be able to fend for herself as she did not have any other relations, not even a sibling. Uche would help people with farm work and would make savings. She also hawked things so as to be able to raise more money as she intends on starting a business. Uche worked for several years before she was able to raise money to start the business she has today. She is known around the village as a girl who is hardworking and dedicated to the core. She did not have time to mess around as she was goal driven uche had a boyfriend named ugo ugo though a very bright boy but was still serving his master under apprenticeship uche and ugo loved themselves so much and would talk about their future together they would talk about how many kids they would have and Uche looked so much to having a family because she has none and would love to have many children. Ugo, after so many years of serving his master, it was time for Ugo to be settled, but his master did not want to settle him, saying that Ugo stole from him and so he won't give him a penny. This made Ugo miserable as he wondered how he would be able to take care of Uchechi when they eventually get married and was thinking of how to start afresh with his life as he felt his life had no direction. Ugo, while discussing with Uchechi, asked her to please give him her life savings that he will give her back the money that it is for their family. Uchechi replied him saying that he can stay at home while she provides what they need in the home as her business is doing fine. But it did not sit well with him and said how can she provide for him and asked her if that is an insult that she should help him that it's for the future of their family. Then she suggested that he could help her with her business and if possible, open another branch with it. He said, it's not possible. That does she expect him to keep collecting money from her? As what? That he wants her to stay at home and raise their kids while he hustles for them. Uchechi, who is used to always taking care of herself, did not buy the idea of staying at home and doing nothing while her husband provides everything she needs. This argument went on for a while, even after they have gotten married. Uche later decided to succumb to her husband's wishes and gave him her life savings and quit her booming business. Not so long, Ugo started doing so well in his business 
and was providing for the home. All was going well, but they were finding it hard to conceive. They kept trying and going to different doctors to know why they haven't been able to conceive, but they seem not to know what the issue is. This gradually became a serious problem in their home. Soon, Ugo's attitude towards Uchechi changed. He started keeping late nights and would look for a way to insult his wife and call her barren at any little thing. Uchechi got tired of staying at home and told her husband that she wants to start her business again, that she hated staying at home and doing nothing, that she needs him to assist her with some money to start a business. But he will reply her saying, he doesn't have any money. Meanwhile, he was about to open another branch of his business in another place. He told her to focus on getting pregnant. This broke her heart and she would always soak her pillows in tears. She would say to herself, isn't this the same man I gave up everything for? For days she won't see her husband and when he returns, he would say he went for a project or saying one thing or the other. Uche asked him if he was avoiding her. He will say she should leave him alone. Uche would always cry and one day decided to confide in her friend with everything she is going through. Her friend sympathized with her and promised to see how she can help her. She borrowed money and gave her friend so she could stand on her feet because it was obvious she was alone in the marriage as for months she hasn't been able to see her husband. Uche started her business and took it serious and in a few months she was able to pay her friend back her money. One day, her husband returned and said he wanted them to go their separate ways, that he has found love in another woman who has given him a child. This broke Uche to pieces as she wondered what she ever did wrong to this man. She cried for days till she felt so sick and was rushed to the hospital. It turned out that she just lost a six month old pregnancy. Because of the stress and she was thinking too much of how to plan her life and move on. She resolved to her fate. Uche met a man who got to hear of her story and took a special liking towards her. He became her peace and they both fell in love. Months later, they got married and Uche became pregnant with child. Ugo came visiting Uche to ask for her forgiveness, but it was already too late as Uche has moved on. Turns out that the lady he left Uche for was only with him for his money and the supposed child isn't his as he got to find out in the worst possible way and he has squandered his money on her and this brought his business down to zero. Ugo left her presence with shame and disgrace. The end. The lesson to learn from this story is do not leave your job or a work that brings you money and joy because of anyone. Do not treat someone who has done nothing wrong to you so badly. Never use someone's predicament to make them feel bad. Do not stab someone you love at the back as it has a way of always coming back to haunt you. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as it helps us grow. Like, share, 
and leave a comment and i will see you in my next video till then bye